Hey guys, what's up? I'm Justin. And I'm here with Richard. And guys, we're continuing our top 50 prospect phenoms in baseball today. And right now, we're stopping off at number 47, Derek North of the Washington Nationals. Um, Richard, what's going on? With, what's going on, man? Before we get to this video. Not too much. Uh, Derek North is a pretty interesting case. Yeah, I really like. Uh, well, looking at his stats, I like. I've been watching a couple of, uh, some videos on him before I did this video, as I do before any other player before I do a video. Um, Derek Norris. I have a couple of scouting reports on this guy. Um, the first two scouting reports are like, what is this kid talking about? Um, he's a power average hitter. He has a great power swing. He's excellent at. He's an excellent bat speed. But the downfall about this guy is, is that he's not a great contact hitter. He always allows a lot of passed balls. I mean, when he's running on the base path, is not that fast of a catch. He's a catcher. Most catchers are not that fast of a position player. Um, I really, I don't really see this guy. This guy's starting off in A ball this year. Richard, how old do you think Derek Norris will be? Yeah, I like Derek Norris a lot. Uh, like you said, he, um, he does remind me of what we were talking before the video. Reminds me a lot of uh, Ryan Dolman. Um, you know, obviously catcher, that's one thing. It's for some power, it's for some average, even though Dolman's on the downside of his career right now. But uh, I think uh, Derek Norris is definitely a, deep, a really good prospect. Yeah, I really like, as you said, I, I really like him too. Um, he's pretty decent uh, catcher. I mean, I like to compare him to um, Ryan Dolman. We talked about that. And this guy has been on pre-drafting rankings as Baseball America put him at the number 38 prospect in 2010. And he just lost a lot, a lot, a lot of like rankings in Baseball America's top prospect ranking. He goes from number 38 to all the way to 72. I don't know how well he will be in the majors. I mean, he's going to be starting off the season at A ball. Um, he started 20, he's starting 2011 right now in Double A. Um, Richard, how well if this, how well will this guy do in Triple A? Right now, he's not doing too well in Double A. Oh uh, well, yeah, you know, he's not even doing that well in Double A. He might make Triple A next season, but right now he's struggling. Um, you know, he really didn't even do that great in A plus ball. Uh, 12 home runs, 49 RBIs, hit for 235. And that's not even really that great. Uh, unless he can put something together quick. I mean, uh, Derek Norris is going to spend the season in double A. Um, he did really good in A ball. No doubt. 23 home runs, 84 RBIs, a 286 average. Um, I don't know. Uh, I think Derek Norris will spend a year in double A, though. Yeah. Derek Norris, I think in about a couple more years, in the majors will be good for this guy. And maybe if the Nationals with Ivan Rodriguez retires, they could be going over to maybe Derek Norris or somebody else in the minor league camp to bring somebody else up. Um, he could be a possibility at this catcher's position for the Nationals. Maybe, maybe not. Um, Richard, if this guy makes the majors, is this guy going to be a keeper for the Nationals or is he going to be a guy who the Nationals would be like, yeah, I'll trade you for some other player? Well... The Nationals have a lot of catchers, like you um, you mentioned uh, Yvonne Rodriguez, but they also have guys like Jesus Flores, a uh, guy who started for the Nationals a couple of years ago. He's pretty good. Um, and they have Wilson Ramos, which I think is going to be the future catcher. I think that Derek Norris presents a very, very uh, good trade piece. Um, I think that the Nationals, if he progresses, uh, Derek Norris, he could be a really good trade chip to a team that's in need of catching. Yeah, I really have to say that the Nationals, this guy in his career will not be with the Nationals. I think he'll start with the Nationals for about a couple of years. And then if this guy is down on a slight slim, if this guy can really break out one season, I'll be really impressed with him. I mean, right now, I don't know much about him. Except that he's a really good power hitter. He's not an average hitter. I mean, down in like the mind, down in A ball, this guy hits a lot of home runs. Double A ball, this guy is starting to change heads about if he's going to hit more of the balls in the left because this guy usually hits his balls in the left field. 
is what the scouting report says. So it's all it's all just gonna come down to how well will he produce in double A AA and triple A. So Richard, is there anything else you want to bring in on him? Uh, well, like I said, he's a good, he's a really good trade candidate. I think that the Nationals can get some stuff for him. Um, I think he'll be traded. I, like I said, Wilson Ramos is the future catcher for this team. Yeah. So, guys, I would like to post this video right after this video to show you how how he warms up and stuff like that, taking batting, taking batting practice. So please enjoy the video that I'm about to show you guys. Make sure to watch the baseball. Uh, pay attention to some of these prospects. I mean, these guys will really break out one time, one time this year, and it will be a guy who you'll never hear for. Maybe it could be somebody about to get a late call up and really just do something like for the for their team. So we'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy enjoy baseball before anything else goes down. So just watch baseball, enjoy your time, and I'll talk to you guys later.